Tonight, a reported home invasion in Kettering. Police telling us the victims say two men pretending to be police officers held them at gunpoint, stole their phones, and forced them into their apartment. Investigators say they've recovered a car involved in the incident near the Columbus area today. And our Mamie Ba joining us now live from outside the Kettering Police Department. Mamie, what were you able to track down? Elise, as you know, things like this do not happen in the Kettering area, so people are really shocked to hear the news. But Kettering police tell me that there is no risk to the public, and they believe this is a targeted incident. We literally just put up to the house, and then we were, like, getting out of the car to go into the house. A Kettering resident on the phone with 911 dispatch telling them she escaped a home invasion. The caller says she ran from the house, got into her car that was still running, and drove to this Shell gas station on Dorothy Lane and Stroop Road. They had badges on and said that they were the police, but they told me not to call the police. They took my phone and everything, and my boyfriend's at the house. I don't know. My dogs are literally at the house. Two cell phones were reported stolen. Kettering police say one phone was found. They also found the car involved in the alleged aggravated burglary. We pulled the flock cameras in the area and located a registration that matched the suspect vehicle. That registration led police to find the car here in Whitehall near Columbus. Kettering police say no arrests have been made, but Whitehall police say a suspect has been detained. Kettering police say this is a targeted incident, but ask people to be cautious. This is the way we dress on patrol, so if you ever have any concerns that somebody may not be local law enforcement, Feel free to call 911. We take it very seriously. It's impersonating a law enforcement officer. Um, it's an arrestable offense. Again, Kettering police say there is no risk to the public. They say when it comes to this home invasion, no items were taken from the home. Now they say the incident is still under investigation. Back to you.